Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Come on in, have a seat, get comfortable. My name is Felicia. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some practical tips to help you when you are encountering a depressive episode. Depression is something that affects you in a way where you may not even feel like you know what to say or that you can even find the words to say. If you've ever felt like there's an elephant sitting on your chest, if you've ever felt like going to take a shower to wash your face, to brush your teeth, or like doing rocket science and you don't understand why, I understand. If you've ever felt like you slept 11 hours and you're still exhausted, you cannot get out of bed. The only way you get out of bed is if you have to go to the bathroom. I get it. When the color from the world feels drained out, I get it. I want you to know that I get it so that you can lean back and really take what I'm saying and take whatever you need and put it in your mental toolbox. Okay? So let's get it. The number one thing is creating systems when you are in a good headspace to help you get on autopilot, okay? So creating a morning routine, creating a night routine. And if you don't have a morning or night routine, here's my routine, uh, my hygiene routine that I think may help you. Obviously, we hit the shower, wash our body, we do our oral routine, we brush our teeth, we floss, and we use mouthwash. With our face, we're going to use a cleanser, and then we're going to go in with an essence, because I have sensitive skin, but you can also use a toner, and then you're going to go in with a serum, and then you're going to moisturize, okay? And you don't have to listen. If you just start with washing and moisturizing, that's fine. If you don't have a routine, but just let you know mine. And, you know, that's what we're all here for. We each one teach one, right? So having routines that I do each day when I am in a good headspace so that I'm on autopilot and when I am experiencing a depressive episode, it can just help me to be able to give me a little bit of the umph because I'm so used to doing the routine. And if you cannot do the whole routine, then you do what you can. Sometimes all you can do is wash your face and put the moisturizer on. You don't have not a drop of energy to do any of the other steps. Sometimes all you can do is brush your teeth. Try to do your full oral routine because it's very important and it can even help you physically feel better, okay? But if do what you can. The next tip that I have is therapy. Have a good therapist that you have built a relationship with or that you are building a relationship with. Because there's a big difference in going to therapy, just going, and participating in therapy. Because if you're experiencing depression, sometimes you'll go to therapy and you won't even say, I'm totally fine. You haven't done anything all day, but you went to therapy because you didn't want your therapist to like catch on. You're doing an injustice to yourself. Your therapist is there for this. Utilize them. It can be challenging to feel vulnerable enough to say, hey, you know, I'm feeling out of it. And because sometimes people think that, you know, if I tell my therapist I'm depressed, I'm automatically going to be impatient. Impatient behavioral health is for you if you are a threat to yourself or others. Sometimes depression gets to a point where it's like, it's time to check out of this world. We don't want that. 
if that is what you are feeling, definitely be vulnerable with your therapist. And if you need deeper treatment, that is all right. It doesn't make you any less of a human. It doesn't make you a failure. It makes you strong enough to speak up for yourself and strong enough to advocate and do the work to build that toolbox so that you can keep going in life. The next thing is to set alarms and reminders to eat, to drink water, to do the basic things that you know are going to nourish your physical, mental, spirit. Because when depression comes, sometimes it can just be, everything goes well. Like you have no idea, like, I don't even know what today is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. When was the last time I ate? So setting alarms can really help you, especially if you live by yourself. It can really, really help. The next thing is if you have a support system, be sure to speak up and let them know what is going on. I don't want you to feel like a failure because you are experiencing a depressive episode. And if anybody around you make you feel like a failure, and I mean they say something explicitly like, oh, you are a failure, oh, you need to get over it, uh, people are going through X, Y, and Z. Not because you think or you feel, because listen, when we're at that space, sometimes but you can't. I don't know if I'm that much of a reliable person because your brain will start telling you things to try to get you to be able to isolate. Like, no, they seem like they had an attitude the last time I called. If so, bring it up, have a conversation because your support system is just that support. They are there for you and they can probably see that something going on and they just don't know how to say it so how can your support system help you great question sometimes you just need somebody to come over and sit with you while you clean up sometimes you just need somebody to sit with you via you know cell phones facetime sometimes you need somebody to bring you some food like can I just send you money and you just bring me something to eat and you just leave it at the door? Be vulnerable enough to know that your friends and family, like your loved ones, are there for you. The next thing is to utilize technology. Instacart, DoorDash, Grubhub, all those apps. Now, they can get there. It can get expensive. But if you are struggling to eat and all you're eating is chips and things like that and you need some, you know, you need some nourishment because all of that is important. Utilize these things when you just can't do it yourself. There is nothing wrong with utilizing Instacart when you cannot get out of the house to go to the grocery store. When all you got in you is to get up and go to work and come home. It's okay to use DoorDash, okay? And the last thing is to just continue to give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. The last thing you want to do is be beating yourself up when you're already at a low point. This storm will pass, and sometimes you don't even realize you're in a depressive episode until, like, you're in the middle of it. You're in the thick of it. And then you look up and it's like, oh my God, all the color is gone and like, I'm drained. No, you aren't alone. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. And if you fall to your knees, know that it's all right. You take your time, you take a deep breath and you give yourself grace. Remember that. Continue to give yourself grace. Continue to give yourself grace. Thank you so, so much. If anything in this video resonated with you, let's have a discussion in a comment section. I love you all so much. And until next time, love, peace, and blessings to you all.